let's practice finding unit rates. Complete the table to find the number of scoops of coffee grounds needed for a certain number of pots of coffee. Okay, since we just went over finding for a unit rate, this should be pretty simple. All we're looking at is the idea of finding ratios using a table to do so. So I know that for four pots of coffee, I need eight scoops of coffee grounds. For five pots of coffee, I need 10 scoops of coffee grounds. And for seven pots of coffee, I need 14 scoops of coffee grounds. So before I just choose to go up to nine pots of coffee, I'm gonna say to myself, okay, well, I need to find for one pot of coffee first. So even if finding for one isn't in your table, you should do that first before you go on from there. Sometimes tables are there and they're useful because you can see patterns, but sometimes you can't see a pattern right off the bat, especially if as you go up with your integers, if it is not in a pattern here, it's not usually gonna be in a pattern here. So let's go and find our unit rate first. So to go from four pots of coffee to one, I'm gonna use a division of four. So four divided by four is one. Therefore, I'm gonna also divide by four here. Eight divided by four is two. So for every pot of coffee that I need, I need to use two scoops of coffee grounds. So here's the catch. Once I find for that unit rate, like I said last time, you can find for anything once you find for the unit rate. Now that I know it's two scoops for every pot, I can go from one pot all the way to nine pots by using a multiplication of nine. One times nine is nine. Again, I have to do the same thing here. I have to multiply now two times nine, which is 18. So when you find that unit rate, finding any ratios on your ratio table is going to be super easy, super quick, and hopefully that was super helpful. Julie records the depth in feet of two sea anemones, and her friend records the depth of two more sea anemones. A fathom is a unit of length used in reference to the depth of water. Julie knows that five fathoms is equivalent to 30 feet. Help her find for multiple depths and fathoms in the table. Okay, so we were given the information that Julie has this sea anemone business going on here and she likes to go and explore. So with the information that we were given, we know that in feet, 30 feet, if you go in depth of 30 feet, that's called five fathoms when you're talking about water, okay? So we know that for certain, that's our ratio that we know, 30 feet is five fathoms. If I want to find for any number, remember we're gonna go back to the unit, right? So we're gonna go from five fathoms because in order to fill in this whole chart, I'm gonna have to be able to fill in piece by piece. So I'm gonna go from five fathoms down to one fathom using a division of five. When I divide by five, five by five is one. So I'm also going to divide here by five. 30 divided by five is six. So for every fathom, it's equivalent to six feet deep. So now that I know that, I can't just put two fathoms here. I have to look at what's next, which is six feet, and I'm gonna go from six to 18. Well, I can't just go times two, because we know that six times two isn't 18. Six times three is 18. So if I multiply this by three, I'm also going to multiply this by three, which would become three. So 18 feet deep is also said as being three fathoms deep. Okay, so now to get to four, well, I could go all the way back up here to one, and I could go one times four is four, which would be fine, but I can also use what I know on my table. I also know that if I have one fathom, which is six feet, and three fathoms, 
which are 18 feet. If I take one and three and add them together, one plus three is four. So if I add these two together, I get here. So I can add these two together and 18 plus six is 24. Again, if you wanted to, you could go one times four is four and six times four is 24. Either way, we're still going this, to get the same answer. Okay, so now here's gonna be a little bit different. I don't know the number of fathoms, but I do know my depth and I wanna get down to 42. So I can't double 24, that's not gonna work. I could do something to 18, if you know your multiplication facts, that would be an easy one. But I can also go back up to six. And I know that if I take 42 times something, or excuse me, six times something to get me to 42. Well, six times seven is 42. So if I multiply this by seven to get to 42, I'm also going to multiply this by seven. And one times seven is seven. So 42 feet in depth is also stated as seven fathoms. So remember, all of this is helpful. If you remember, I know I can always go back to one. I can always find for one of something. If you can find for one of something, you can usually find for anything. Okay, take your time, do your best, have fun.